This lesson is based on the previous lesson, although we added some pause cues. In this lesson, loop 4 should not fade to black at the end, but instead it should cross fade into loop 1 again, and the whole timeline should then run endlessly. We can only do this through getting the now pointer to jump back to the first clip and then to play it all back. First of all, we have to create a crossfade from clip number 4 to clip number 1. We will have to move a now pointer to the point where clip number 4 begins to fade out. We have to select our first clip and by copy and paste we just copy it to the point of the now pointer so that we basically just completed our first task. We now want to jump to the beginning, which we can also do with the help of Q. We still have a couple of pause cues, but we'll also add a new cue, which we will just move and then we'll change it to a jump cue. We obviously have to allocate a jump target and since we've had the two second fade in, we want to jump to exactly where the clip in front has reached the same status, which means we will jump to six seconds, three frames. And now we have the jump to the front. We will now change all the cues that were originally designed as pause cues into play cues. You will see that now the clip will jump from clip 4 to clip 1 and it will continue running. This kind of programming setup could be used for example for an exhibition booth where one has different products with related videos that are supposed to play all the time. The same principle could also be used for fixed installations in a digital signage context. One important fact is that in order to make the jump work properly, both clips have to be on the same layer and both have to be in free run mode.